office and I'm so 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 nervous <sighs> getting four teeth extracted the one right there there and these two right here I'll be back I guess every eight hours, I'll like start eating this later. So I just ate some soup and I took some medicine. It has 800 milligrams. It's gonna last for eight hours. I took some notes that I wanted to tell you guys. So the whole instruction took 15 minutes total, including the injections. The only pain I had was the injections and I had like eight and it was tolerable. Like. I mean, my eyes kind of watered a little bit, but it's something that's tolerable for me because I do have a high pain tolerance. I just feel like a really tight pinch. And then it happens. Like, your whole mouth area just feels so numb that it feels like dough. You could just go like this and just like feel so squishy. And like, your whole mouth is touched to like, like you can't control it. Yeah, so the whole procedure was literally just pressure and you can only hear like the crack sound but you can't feel the pain though. so it wasn't as bad as i thought i was very nervous before oh i also got my teeth cleaned before because my dentist likes to keep the teeth clean before he takes out the teeth because he wants the surrounding to be clean so i didn't eat until three hours later after the extraction because it wasn't bleeding too much then so it's not that much bleeding right now I felt I'm just hoping that I don't get a dry socket because that's like the worst pain ever because literally your bone is exposed when it happens I'm just so careful follow everything from this paper because everything which I do they also gave um, gauze I gave some gauze which I have been using I hope it's enough for until the bleeding stops. I'll just update you guys in the pain loser. I just had porridge for dinner and so far I don't feel any pain still. Probably because this medicine is working. And I have to retake it around 1am so I do have to eat something before I eat it. Some of you might be curious of how the extraction site looks like right now. So I'm going to do a close up. So those of you who don't like seeing this, just skip right ahead. So that space is going to be the space that this front part is going to be pushed back so that hole is going to be covered. I'm going to try to brush my teeth tonight. So yeah, um, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. So today is the next day and I've been hydrating myself with lots of water and I woke up with no pain at all but I still took a pill after I ate some breakfast. I had porridge. I'm going to test out to see if I do have any pain. The only pain I'm feeling right now is when I open my jaw like all the way like like as far as I can. My jaw kind of like feels pain and also like when I press down here. Here it doesn't have any pain but down here it does. The extraction site I see some white like tissue building up. I'm guessing it's healing very well right now and when I did brush I brushed very very carefully that like I made sure that it didn't touch the extraction site so I would like very carefully slowly brush each part I'll do a close-up of the extraction site 
I'll update you guys tomorrow if I do feel any pain after not taking any medication. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I came back from work and when I was at work, my jaw only hurt it when I opened my mouth and also this area right here. I kept on eating soft foods and I also started doing salt rinse. After 24 hours after the extraction, you're supposed to do salt rinse for like three to four times a day. I only did it once yesterday. I already did it twice today. So I'm gonna do it one more time tonight. I'm no longer gonna take the pain medication because the pain is not going away in my jaws from the ibuprofen that I got prescribed. So I will continue taking that. And I've noticed that the holes aren't as dark as they appeared and they're like starting to like fill up. So I'll show a close up. So skip this part if you don't like seeing this. So I definitely see that the bottom one is healing faster than the, than the upper one. This is the top one and it has like two roots right there. And this, this is the bottom one and it's only one. And this is two. One, two roots. So the hole in the upper one, it's much bigger site where it has to heal. I'll see tomorrow if it's gets any better but i think i'll still have to eat soft foods to be safe i'm going to be eating soft foods for the whole week until one week has passed and i'll also confirm with my dentist to see when i could start eating regular foods so i'll see you guys tomorrow and yang so today is the third day after my extractions still same pain but less pain right here so when i open my mouth the pain is basically gone so the only pain that I'm feeling is right here when I touch down here. Up here, there's no pain at all. There's something that I noticed and that is like my surrounding teeth are like, mostly, the, I don't know about the back, but the front just feel loose. And like if I try shaking a little bit, I can feel it move. So when I search that up, if it's normal, the people say it is normal, but they said to ask for a dentist. So... I'm going to be asking my dentist today and I'll let you guys know that if that is normal. I've been doing my salt rinse today and there are more white stuff in the extraction site. I'll show you guys a close up so skip this part if you don't want to see it. So that's all the update for today and I'll see you the next day. So I came back from work and I have been doing the salt rinse. I did the salt rinse twice today. The more you do it, the faster your gums heal because salt actually promotes healing. When I eat some like harder foods, I have to be extra careful when I chew because I don't want to chew in the extraction site. So I have to make sure I like tilt my head a little bit back so that way the food is being chewed with the molars. I've noticed that the gums have healed a lot, like tremendously. The holes used to be really dark, but now it's getting lighter. So I'm seeing more of the gums covering it. So you'll see the gums being more narrow in that extraction site. So I'll show you guys. Yeah, so I have to say the most change I see is on the fourth day. About the surrounding teeth being kind of wiggly. I asked the dentist and he said that it is normal. So if it happens to you guys, don't worry too much about it. If it doesn't get any tighter, then you might want to ask again. Because then there might be a problem. Make sure you guys don't wiggle it because then that can cause a big issue. Okay, I'm going to go now and get ready to sleep. So I'll see you guys the next day. So today is Sunday and I still feel a bit pain when I bite down in the front. My gums are healing a lot more. There's not much difference from yesterday, but I'll show you a close up. There are no other updates that I can tell you guys. So I'll see you the next day. So I just finished my appointment and he just put the full wire on for both top and bottom. I didn't start a rubber band so I don't think the process of 
the teeth moving isn't going to start yet and my next appointment is going to be like in the beginning of December so yeah it's very far away so on Sunday my gums pretty much look the same I'll insert a picture of my gums yesterday right now I'll insert a picture of today they're pretty much healing every day and I like the same rubber band color, the light blue. I really like this color so I got it again. It does change into like a mint green which I like. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's appointment. I don't feel any pain but I did feel like some tightness when she was putting the rubber bands on. Some tooth was more sensitive than the other tooth. But other than that, yeah, there's no other pain. So I hope I don't have full pain again because I want to be able to eat whatever food I want because I'm tired of eating soft foods. Well, basically, ever since like two days ago, I started to eat like normal foods. So like when I do eat something hard though, I just focus on eating in the back. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bingo!